And you are unforgettable. I need to get you along. What? It's not, it's not Sway Lee's song? I know I'm not the only one thinking that was a Ray Shrimmer song. Am I right? There's a lot of that in this album. Yeah. Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today I'm gonna be doing a review on French Montana's new album, Ay! Jungle Rules. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. And tell me in the comment section, what is your favorite song off of this album? Cause this whole damn album sounds exactly the same. And I don't know, it was just really hard for me to dissect this album because it sounds so terrible. But with that being said, put it in the comments, tell me what is your favorite French Montana song and your worst French Montana song off of Jungle Rules. And let's go ahead and just get this over with. Coming off his last album, Mac and Cheese 4, French Montana's come out with Jungle Rules and I was really, now let me, all right, let me quit lying. I really wasn't expecting this album because it's gonna be sound, it's gonna sound just like all of his last projects. But with all for Mac and Cheese Four, which I have a review on my channel, which you should check it out. I thought I thought Mac and Cheese Four was pretty decent. I gave that a solid six out of ten, and you know it had a bad rollout. You know he had physical copies in stores on a date that it really wasn't supposed to re -re be released. But with all that fiasco out the way, it was a pretty decent album. But with Jungle Rules, yeah, it reminds me just why I'm not a French Montana fan. But let's go ahead and check out the cover. If you want to call your album Jungle Rules, have it interpreted in with the title, with the content of your music. like. Why would you call it Jungle Rules? Like, if, if I'm wrong, put me, tell me in the comment section of why he calls it Jungle Rules because, you know, it sounds like a desert. It was pretty dry. But what I actually like about Jungle Rules, Unforgettable was a pretty good good single to pick out, even though it sounds like a Sway Lee song. I, it, it had me in more of enjoyment of what French Montana usually does, which is his whole melodic singing ability, which I don't like, but it, it goes good with this. And it, it clashes real good with Sway Lee does, what he usually does on music, and Unforgettable, yeah. It's not my favorite song, but it's a great single to pick. And plus, I like the feature, the feature choices he got on the album, even though the features sound more better than him on his own album. I like I like the Young Thug feature. I like T.I. I like, you know, The Weeknd. He has a good choice of selection of artists to be on his album, but his features sound better. All of his features sound better than French Montana himself. And that's a negative in my book if every last feature on your album sounds better than you on your own shit but my favorite song is number 10 pressure featuring future out of all the 18 tracks on jungle rules i think this is the best collab because they both have both of their styles sound great together and you know i wouldn't put this on my playlist but out of the 18 tracks that's on this album, yeah, I'll bump this. But let's go ahead and get into my negatives about this album. French Montana, just like I said on Mac and Cheese 4, you're gonna have to stop using auto-tune. I know you're not a strong lyricist, but you can't sing, brother. Like, just like all the, it's like all his music sounds the same, just like on all his melodic songs, like on she working formula like everybody uses is trying to use this whole caribbean style music and the only person in my opinion that's successful in doing it is drake and even while they try to dip into it and uh, uh, other artists and i'm not surprised that french montana 
is trying to do this because you know it's kind of his lane but he's not succeeding in it so just stop using auto tune and just spit some bars for once and like i said before his features sound better than him just look just like on well okay his features like just like he, the songs he got featured on it doesn't sound like a french montana song it sounds like just like on a lie a lie sound more like a weekend song because if you have an artist to do a hook and then they do the first verse it's gonna sound like their song it's not gonna sound like yours french montana and that just that just really irks me that's just like on a lie jump and bring them things all those songs do not sound like a french montana song and the features sound better than you so it just irks me man it does and once again just like i said on everybody's review everybody want to cloud their album with a lot of tracks just to get the just to get that RIAA stamp on their album. 18 tracks isn't necessary to have a good project. I know you're trying to get them numbers up. I know you're trying to get them streaming sales, but at the same time, more isn't better. You have to have a quality project. And there's only a couple of songs that I actually like on Jungle Rules. And if if you have more songs that sound terrible than the good songs then what's the what's the whole purpose he has to know that some of these songs don't sound as good my least favorite song is number nine migo montana featuring quavo out of all quavo features out of, he, he, he done did with everybody this gets to sound like the most the most I'm not, I'm not gonna say terrible, but they're not the best collab Quavo have done with another artist. And it seems like Quavo does great with other artists that use auto tune. It just that with French Montana, it just it, the the quality didn't even sound uh, as par as as it usually does. It just seemed like with Travis Scott Quavo is a good uh, a good collab. It just with French Montana and Quavo, I really wasn't feeling it. And this has to be one of the songs that he knew that it wouldn't fit, but it gets Quavo on it, so what the hell. But let me go ahead and rate French Montana's Jungle Rules. To me, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10, just the simple fact that none of the quality, the, the beats wasn't strong to me, the, the features was okay, but the features outshined French Montana, and it just really wasn't no hits on here. I mean, Unforgettable was a great track, and maybe Stop It featuring T.I. It was an okay uh, song that could be a single, but I'm gonna give it a three out of 10 because it's not no replay value and it just really wasn't hitting, hitting, hitting me personally. So yeah, three out of 10. But what do you give French Montana Jungle Rules? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think French Montana can sing? Do you think French Montana is gonna be able to make a good quality project in the future? And if I'm wrong, tell me what's, what, why, I should like French Montana. Put that in the comment section. But until next time, don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. And until next time, I holla on Black TV.